Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? In this video we're going to do her. My, oh my gosh, long awaited, very long process uh, video on my postcards that I've been doing. It's in the same series that we did together where we did the owls, which the owl that's not done, and the flower, and we did these little spirits that showed up. Maybe spirit guides is what I'm I'm, con I'm considering them. This one's coming soon. Um, there's a video in progress of being edited for that one. But in this video, we did her and we finished her together, step by step. And each and every step is in the playlist called postcards. Something. Oh my goodness! How do I not know this? Let's see, real quick, I think I have my video pulled up. I sure do. You guys remember, my husband did the tub. And it's in a playlist called Postcard. Holy moly. Postcard something. I, I totally forgot. Postcard. have no clue. Something postcards. But anyways, there's part one, two, three. I think we're going all the way up to right now we are part nine. Part nine and she's done. All done. Yeah. So let me give you a close up. Isn't she pretty? And that's what we're going to jump into. So I'm going to edit this video and then I'll see you in the next part and I'll say hello again. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye. Hi everybody. How is everybody doing? My squeaky chair that drives so many people nuts. I need to WD-40 it. I know it. I know. I just forget. Life gets in the way. All right. Life has been not in the way. I'm grateful to have life. But things get in, not get in the way. You get busy, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to pull out my paint brushes. And I had to literally do the um, surprise attack on myself. Basically, turn on the camera, press record, and now I just have to do it. Because I've been busy 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 or just not in the mood and or just giving myself time so we're back at these postcards today is oct not October oh my god October's done November 6 2017 and we're going to do our bubble head and we're gonna move in and my wipe drop paper will be um, deli paper that was sent in Happy Mail and that's what I'm going to use to wipe stuff off on and we're also going to have the paintbrushes that Lisa Nolan sent me thank you Lisa and then I'm going to use these little beads for the hair and some glossy accents all right and but first we're going to paint in the tub or actually let's start the hair because the hair is going to be the one part that's going to take the longest so I had mentioned in a previous video there's a playlist for um, my postcards so if you haven't seen those yet if you like hop on over there and check those out I also have a, a private class here on YouTube I think it's around seventeen dollars something like that and you don't want to miss that and it's called making magic fairy lights All right, so. I'm going to put it actually all over the hair. Anyways, I was saying we had I had mentioned that her hair is huge and we're gonna make her into a bubble head girl. And then eventually my husband got in on it and he gave her a bathtub. So we're gonna put put something that resembles bubbles in her hair. And I know it's a postcard, but this one seems to that I seem I think that I might stick this one in an envelope and I already have um, a person this is going to be sent out to and it's going to be a surprise so I'm not going to say who. Alright, so we're going to grab these beads. Now these beads have no holes. 
And I'm just going to sprinkle them in and let them fall wherever they want to fall in her hair. They're falling everywhere. Oh, that is so cute. Whoa, they're going. They're going all over the place. I will have to find those because they're so cute. I don't want to lose not one. So I'm going to see if I can gather them in to go into her hair. They're rolling in there. We have puppies underneath my table eating some treats. All right. I know you can't see that very well, but once it dries, I'm hoping you can see it. And I'm going to also put in some, the, some of the pink ones, if I can get this open. Isn't that cute? And I'm just going to pour it into her hair also for the bubble effect. And I see that we have a little spot. It has no glue, so I'm going to put some more glue there. But we need to close these up because these are dangerous. They're going to pop out everywhere. There we go. Do I need to get you guys a little closer? I think so. Really cute. Now I'm thinking that I want to put in some of these little flat back stones that I have that were sent in Happy Mail. And I don't mind if they go in upside down or backwards or wrong side up, however you say that. And I'm just grabbing all the excess that we have on the table. I'm letting that fall in there. I let nothing go to waste. <laughs> nothing. Alright. I think that is it. And if I find the other ones that flew around, I'll definitely throw those in too. There's another one. Let me show you guys. I might feel one in my hand. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, that is so pretty. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. Give me one second. It'll focus eventually. There we go. Very pretty. Alright, she's got bubbles in her hair. Now we're going to paint. Alright. Let's use... Um, is there a round one? Yeah, there sure is. I'm going to use this ballerina pink. And that'll be a porcelain tub. Oh, I need to zoom you guys back out. There we go. Make sure, okay, you guys can see me. I think I want to put the paper underneath. No wasted paint. Here, the shower head should be sil uh, silver, right? Okay, so we're doing the tub. All of these postcards I have step by step in a playlist. I think I mentioned that already. 
So they'll be there for the future if you would like to watch them later. We're going to do the inside also, but I think I will do some kind of bubbles on the inside. I'll figure that out in a, in a little bit. All right. So there's that. Might have to go in a, one more time once it dries. And then we'll find some silver or gold. Let's do silver first. We could even do white and then silver on top, but we'll see how this works. Oh man, that hurt. Oh wow, my, my silver is poo. Look. Oh. It is older than old. Then older than older than old. And that's the only silver I have. I'm looking over there. Oh. Let me go see. I'll be right back. Found an oyster pearl color. Should be close enough. <gasps> Never even used this. Alright. Let's shake that up really good. Still needs more chicken. Nope, needs more. Meanwhile, I'm going to look around to see what I need to put in also. Oh, I'm going to put some wa uh, water drops in. And for that, we're going to use. some glue gun. You know how your glue gun, when you have it on, it drips? So, we're going to stick that there. Like water coming down from the shower head that we have up here. And stick into my hand or my finger. Alright, I know I have more of those pieces. I set them aside. Here they are. I'm going to use those. One there, one up here. One here and one there. All right. I hope I can continue seeing those. All right, I mean, where'd they go? There's one here. One here. I'll remove the excess um, glue hair that you see. I just want to get things down and give them time to dry. And I think that's all the glue dots I, I have. Glue droppings. That's drying. I'm getting back to the silver. It's not dry all the way, but we'll work with what I have. Hopefully this works. It's called oyster something color. So it's going to be a silver shower head. How much does this thing need to be mixed up? I 
Okay. And we'll put Blue Haven for some water in, in the tub. I didn't think any of, not much of this through. I, I did think about the bubble head, that one, and the glue gun drops. That's about it. Oh, and the tub, of course. My husband did the tub. But the blue water, I haven't really given it much thought. I just have to jump in on these things sometimes, and that's what I'm doing. I want it to look choppy. There we go. All right. So now what, Secret? What are you going to do? I think... I think we'll throw, do we have blue? Yes. Some of these blue dots into the paint. To look like bubbles. Just a few like that. And then when it dries, I'm going to put some glue on top. So I'll be back when all this dries up and we'll finish her up together and then we'll move on to whichever one is next. I'm not sure. Let's see. And that one. This one keeps getting in there. Um, I'm going to finish up the owl, the flower. That one's done for me. And this one's done for me also. This one, I have a video coming. And this one will finish up. Alright, so the next one will either be the flower or the owl, but we're definitely going to come back and finish this one up together. I need to find some better silver. Okay, let's see. Have I been off camera the whole time? Sorry. So sorry. Right there. Alright, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're back. So I pulled out a few blues. What is this one? White, actually. going to go into the tub. I don't want to fuss too much with the pink going clear so much. And I don't want straight lines. Although I know a tub is straight lines, this is very, um, as I work and always have worked, and my art is very free form, so the way I'm going to do this one. Then I can come back and make a line if I like. Otherwise, I'm good. Okay. Then I decided to grab different blues, and I still, if those blue little bubbles come off while I'm working, I'll be okay with that because I'm still going to put um, some glossy accents in there. I'm just going to come in with different color blues and I want to paint these little water things that we put in blue. Oh, I didn't get the other side, did I? And that is Sky Blue by Americana. Let 
I got some on my bottle, so I'm going to take it off and roll it here. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with blue chiffon. And some Blue Haven we already have in there. Okay. Okay, let's deal with this water thing. Um, what is that called? Something head. Shower head. I don't have silver glitter so we're just going to make that into a gold shower head. It, I'm sure it exists out there. And we're going to leave some of the silver coming through. This stuff loves to get stuck in there. It's the only problem with this stuff is it gets stuck in there. Stickles would be nice. I'm so tempted to just open it and use it as paint. See all of that globby cool glob 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 of the gob gob in there? I'm just gonna grab it and use it. Well there's um the faucet part where you turn the hot and the cold right there. Who doesn't want a glittery shower head in gold. I do. I do. I do. Oh, did you see that? I spilt all of my, not all, most of my gluey stuff down here. Look. Look right here. Well, that sucks. I'm going to have to try to scoop it up and pour it back in. And I'll do that right now because I don't want it to get ruined. How am I going to do that? Let's just do it with your finger. I cannot lose any of this stuff. What am I kidding? I just don't like to lose anything. Alright. It's good enough. Eerie. Eerie. There's a lid. Maybe I shouldn't keep it upside down. Maybe. Alright. I think I need to let that dry. All right, yeah. So that's where we're at. And then I'm gonna dry this off camera and be right back. Okay, we're back. We dried everything up. I pulled out some watercolors. And I pulled out these jellyfish pins. And my pilot. So I pulled these two out and then I pulled out the jelly roll which is strange because the jelly roll in the middle, do you see that, has leaked inside there. I don't know how that happened. Um, links to the pilot 
and links to these will be down below and I might get a link for that one we'll see but let's see what I want to do I want to put some white definitely want to put some white mm. What do I do with it? I don't see it anymore. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Is it? I think so. Yeah, that's it. Do I need to get you guys in closer? Let's see. I don't think so. I think we're good gonna get white and put it over the um, the glue gun water things we put all right then I also want to put some shadowing in random places on the shower head Very random like that. Alright. And then and then she keeps saying. Let's close this up. I want to see what color this blue is. <clears throat> yeah, we're good. Just putting it in random places. Very nonchalant. Then I might want to go in with a wet brush. Perfect, and then I want to get some blue from my watercolors and put that in also. My eyeball is itching. Alright, put some blue here. And around it. There we go. Perfect for me. And what else? Then I have this gold, yellow gold Americana. Not sure how that's going to show up, but we're going to try anyways. Good enough. What else? What else? What else gets? Oh, I want to outline her. But before I do that, I want to get some of this Craft Twinkles by Deco Art and put some in the tub. Not in the tub, uh, outside of the tub. Alrighty. Good enough. Then, then, what does this stuff look like? What color is this, people? Oh, it doesn't have a color. 
looks gray. Let's test it. It's no big deal. It's okay. Billy didn't add anything. All right. So what I need to do is let this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all dry. Now I'm going to go in with my pilot. And I like this. That was a little doggy treat. I like uh, the scribbly look. Good there, we're good there. Let's see. Let's define the tub a little bit. One of those little balls fell off. Oh no. I'm gonna put it there because I don't want to lose it. Okay, what were we doing? We were outlining, right? Alright. I'm gonna try to keep my hand out of the way. I try. Then we're going to glaze the water. Where do I wipe? Where do I wipe? I don't have nothing to wipe on. I find that my paint is not completely dry, but that's okay. Everything's okay. Alright. I really like her. I love the way she came out. Okay. Now, let's glaze some more. I want to glaze these. Can you guys see? Right here. Those water things. The water droplets. I swear when I get here on with you guys, I totally forget how to speak. Alright, so I decided I'm going to put in the same color bubbles that we put in her hair into the water because obviously she's in a bubble bath. They're falling everywhere, but I promise I'm going to pick them up. Okay. And then I'll come back and show you her. All when she's all well and done and dried up. Alrighty. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. We're all done. Let me move my vape over. We're all done. She is done, 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 done. I enjoyed her. She took a long while, but my process is to jump in and out of things, and it was worth the wait. For me, it was worth the wait. I love her, and she already has an owner, a special person that I'm sending her to. Look how pretty she is, and I really enjoyed making her. Oh my goodness, she's super cute. Look at her. Look at all of that. Isn't that cute? 
Okay, so down below I've linked um, the little um, bubbles I used. I linked the um, pins we used and these water things that we used and all of my art supplies that I use most of them are linked down below in my store. You can just click the link. And thank you everybody and thank you to those that give me a tip. Every dollar counts, every dollar I'm grateful for. And that link down below if you'd like to uh, give me a small tip. It's more than appreciated. That goes to many things, bills, food, and really that's it, bills and food. It doesn't go towards my art supplies just yet. And to be honest, I don't feel like I need anything. I pretty much do with what I have and I have plenty. So thank you so very much for watching and I'm grateful to each and every one of you guys and we're almost up to 13,000 subscribers. That's amazing to me. I didn't know that my channel was going to grow that big. To me that's fantastic and amazing. Thank you guys for being there. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.